things wrapped around too tight Illuminate me with your light You fill all the room inside my mind And all that I can see is you You wash away my sea of blue You're the only reason I've survived Searching for the light, been learning to 
fight through the darkness I'll get this right We were born to shine And we still got time It's not hopeless Don't look now Here comes that awful feeling My walls are caving in Heaven help I can see my ghost on the ceiling Let me breathe again Cause I just want to live my life I'm never backing down I swear I'm gonna fight the good fight Just wanna get it right I'm ready for it now You know I'm gonna fight the good fight
The night has come, it's cold and losing my control. Your light is gone, and lonely darkness fill my soul. I wish that you could save me from my isolation. It's way too complicated. Stop this conversation. Stop this conversation. We got no relation. First of all, let me make sure I have the right mic on. Okay, hold on. USB should be the right mic. Yep. All right. What is up, everybody? How you all doing? I know it's been a little bit since I've streamed. It's been two games. Uh, the first one against Steven Edge was my birthday. I was just, you know, uh, I well. That was on a Saturday morning. Anyway, I, I slept in. Uh, the game against... Uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Mansfield. I was in Vegas at the time uh, with my best friend. And, yeah. I, I did see a little bit of that game, actually. I, I was watching live uh, when Al Hamadi put, uh, dispatched his uh, chance, which gave us the lead against Mansfield. Decent uh, finish. Not the best moment there from the goalkeeper as he could have maybe gone down lower quicker uh, but it did sl uh, slip past him other than that though it's just the same tune really just defensive laps as we go up and then defensive laps it's against Stevenage there were two goals in particular where we got caught ball watching the first one that we conceded Nightingale had two people on him maybe he should have communicated a little bit more there um, but in that case you know two people on him got caught ball watching there's a player that made a run in the back post, and we, we ended up catching that player, but, you know, uh, one person too many in that instance. And then, I don't know, it just, it just all went tits up again. Conceded another goal. Uh, you know, scored a second one. Al Hamani, man. He has been absolutely fantastic for us. Uh, the second goal, got a bit lucky with the rebound, uh, but nonetheless, it's another goal for him. And then we concede yet another. Um this time with Al Hamadi actually being the villain, 
losing his mark, getting caught ball watching there, just kind of standing for like a few seconds as his man just completely went back post unmarked. Um, maybe Gunter could have been could have done a little bit better there, attacked the first header, but maybe overreached it a little bit, and he lost his man in the back post too. I mean, completely wide open. Two people in the back post were wide open. One of them dispatched it. And then the game against Mansfield, I think it was even worse of a, of a collapse for us, um, conceding three goals and not really that long of a time frame. Um, Zanev really uh, leaving a lot on the table there, leaving a lot left to be desired on the second goal at least. And also in one of the instances where he, where he tried to clear it, uh, they didn't. We didn't actually concede on this one. He tried to clear. It took too long to clear. It bounced off one of their players. They tried to chip him. Went over the bar. Um, yeah, just defensive lapses. Just the same tune every single time. And um, I mean, what really needs to change specifically? I feel like we could really, really use. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up the lineups, but my fucking. Internet is slow. I'm trying to see what what exact formation we used against Mansfield. I was gonna say we should really start engaging in a 4-4-2. I feel like one to accommodate Al Hamad, even though he's on form, even though he's scoring. Um, I feel like we, I feel like it would be better for him to uh, slot alongside Davison to really help uh, support Davison. Although Davison has kind of bounced back a little bit, he was in kind of poor form before the Stevenage game. He's kind of bounced back a little bit. Um, but still no goals in the last few games. Uh, so what lineup did we use against, or what formation did we use against Mansfield? Looked to me like it was just a 4, yeah, 4-4-2, four, four, okay. We used a 4-4-2. Four, four, I was kind of clamoring for a 4-4-2, four, four, a 4, uh, maybe a diamond perhaps, but we did decide to play Woodyard and Little, Chislet and McIntyre out wide. But this time against Doncaster, we're reverting back to a three, a three in the back for the first time in a long time. Although, yeah, we're seeing Al Hamadi playing up top alongside Davison. I'm not really complaining too much in that regard, and we're seeing Curry uh, starting at left wing back, which is something I like to see. Although Lee Brown can, you know, put some good deliveries in the box, I don't think that that's kind of the play style that we need to attack right now. We do need to kind of create out wide. Uh, George Marsh playing as a right wing back is fairly interesting. He used to play as a right back way back in the Tottenham Academy days. Sorry, just taking a bite out of my potato croquette. Um, we're looking fairly shallow today. Only five subs. Harry Pell not on the uh, team sheet. Also missing a few players. No Pierre. No, Pierre, never mind, he's starting as a center back. So Pierre Pearson, Nightingale, uh, no Callum Bailly, rather, uh, on the team sheet either. Um, yeah, this looks fairly shallow for us, but from the subs that we do have, I mean, P uh, Pearson, McAteer, two players I can certainly create. Um, Doncaster are a good side, though. They've got a few decent players. they got Miller up top, uh, the 25-year-old. I mean, they, they do have... Fair, uh, several youngsters actually, uh, most of which are signed for Doncaster, not on loan, aside from the 18 year old center back from uh, Lester Nelson, uh, as well as Brown out wide for, uh, from Black Blackburn. Uh, aside from that, oh, Lakin as well, center mid. But aside from that, most of their team are pretty young, you know, 25, uh, 26, 25 years old or younger. Uh, they've got a decent midfield. Uh, I thought Harrison Biggins would be playing today from Fleetwood, but not today. Um, Close and Lakin, two decent center mids. You got, oh, Biggins is playing out wide, actually, in a three. That's interesting. Usually he plays as a center mid. Um, Biggins, the man from Fleetwood. Cod's Vlogs, certainly one of his biggest fans, I'm sure. Oh, he's a bit hit or miss for Fleetwood, but more so on the hit side. He was decent. Uh, and then you got Molyneux out wide, the number seven. Pretty tricky player. Um, I mean, it's it's a decent side overall. They do have a tendency to concede goals, so we really got to attack it. I'm sure we're going to score at least one. The problem has been keeping leads. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it really is a poor run of form from AFC Wimbledon, but 
I'm liking this formation considering, you know, the the lack of depth that we're having this season. I, you know, I like the formation, the three five two. You know, I'm not a huge fan of three in the back, but considering, uh, I think the two up top is better for us in terms of chance creation. Um, I think that's fine as long as you have you know Curry and Marsh who are decent defensively. Well, Marsh eh. Maybe sometimes not really the best in terms of getting stuck in a challenge, but I think George Marsh used to play as a you know right right back in the Tottenham days. Um, I think he's fine as a outside back, as a center mid. It's been left to be desired a little bit left to be desired this season, um, which is weird because he played very well last season as a center mid. All of a sudden, he's kind of dropped off. Nice to see AFC Wolden rocking their classic dark blue. It does look fairly sexy, if you ask me. Let me, uh... Oh, hey, what's up, Royal Rider? I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back, welcome back. He was one of the, he was one of the very first people to, to find me. I, actually, on my old... Well, not my old account, my main YouTube account, which I upload various different things. I haven't uploaded there in a while, actually. I will upload something in a few hours, though. I actually made it in a Brett Rivera video. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Brett Rivera. A uh, bit of an asshole, a bit of a dick, actually. Uh, he's just your stereotypical rich kid. Uh, but Brett Rivera, kind of like a Mr. Beast ripoff, makes a bunch of videos with like a bunch of different ideas. He's a vlogger. I delivered pizza to him. Um... So if you check out Brent Rivera, his last video, um, I cre I made a secret gaming room under my bed. You'll see me making a cameo, but I'll I'm uploading a reaction video anyway. My old account, Jaggy KM, it used to be called Jaggy MK. It stands for Mario Kart, but it's not Milton Keynes, I promise. Uh, yeah, he was one of my very first subscribers back then. Um, glad to have him back. That was the season where we barely stayed up through the skin of our teeth uh, in League One, and then obviously we got relegated this season after. Let me set up the scoreboard. Goal kick from Mitch. Oh, my God. I'm not going to do this again, guys. I'm sorry. I, I know better than that. <laughs> If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I went to AFC Wilmington versus Doncaster two seasons ago when we were still in League One, where we were two up and then we conceded two. I went to that game in person, and the crowd was going, Mitchell, Mitchell, and we conceded two. Um, in the reverse fixture this season, I was like, Mitchell, Mitchell, and we, and we dropped points, so I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Anyway, goal kick for Zanev to take here. I'm going to pull up the lineups in a second. I'm still not fully ready, but both teams winning some headers here. Five, six, seventh. The seventh header from Woodyard. The eighth header flick back from Davison, but it's out for a throw in. Al Hamadi couldn't get there. By the way, Al Hamadi in fantastic form. Hopefully, he can continue. Fantastic signing, honestly. A very diamond in the rough type of player. Uh, they played the ball forward to Molyneux, played it square. Okay. Very poor ball to Curry. Uh, and Curry, I mean, intercepted. Davison flicking it on. Back to Curry. Back to Davison. Got dispossessed. Davison already winning a few of the knockdowns here, already looking good on the holdup. I know I say that a lot. Winning the knockdowns, good on the holdup. But you also got to make sure that you create your own chances, and Davison had a bit of a struggle with that, but lately he's created a couple of chances for, his, for himself. Uh, back into form. I'm 
All right, let me try to memorize some players here. Seaman number 19, taking the throw. He has some. He has an afro going for him. Nelson, the 18-year-old. Number 18. 18-year-old 18 uh, from... Leicester City, pretty good signing for them, or pretty good loan signing for Doncaster. Little back to Zanev. Davison dropping really back, really far deep, winning that knockdown, but Doncaster in possession again. Knocking around a bit. Steam in on the wide area. Nightingale comes sliding in. Oh. Okay. Chisel comes away with it. I remember Tommy Rowe scoring two for Doncaster against us two seasons ago. Had a boy Nightingale coming forward to win the header. Still in possession, Doncaster. Seaman being doubled up. That means we don't have numbers. They're on the counter now. On the wide area, Seaman. Nightingale was able to dispossess, but doesn't fully clear. jizz has got some space ahead of him after that Curry header. Curry now marauding forward. Counterattack for the Dons to Curry. Davidson's there. Oh, just over his head. Had he found Davidson, could have could have steered towards goal. Oh, how many down on the ground now after a collision with Mitchell? Where was the Doncaster midfield there after that header, initial header from Curry? They were all up and forward. It's a good counterattack from the Dons, though. But Curry at times struggles with a deliver with the delivery. You know, can create a, a space for himself. Um, you know, very pacey individual. I mean, it's a decent ball to the back post, just too close to the keeper. But had he found maybe Davison that near post, just driven it to Davison, he could have steered it to goal. Oh yeah, it's probably it's a good like what six degrees Celsius out there right now in Doncaster. Pretty cold, six seven degrees, I'd say. Mm, header away, not fully away. Molyneux, nice tackle by Armani Little. Chislett's open in the middle. Go on. Damn. Davison tried to make a run, and, and Chislett thought he was gonna he was gonna be played square. He tried to play him like to his feet, and Davison ran ahead of it. Miscommunication between the two. Miller tried to hold the ball up, but Alex Pierce was all over it. Pierce has defended stoutly throughout this season. He did have a bit of a hash, though, last game out against Mansfield with an errant clearance that led to the third goal.
Nicely done there. Alex Pierce steps forward as uh, Miller tried to hold the ball up. So far, Miller not getting the better end of the holdups here, but, I mean, you know what he can do. Nine goals in the season. Um, when given that space, he can, he can definitely convert. Long ball forward. Zanov heads it away. Sweeper keeper moment there. Doncaster have a bit of a long throw threat though here. Now they're going to go short, I think. Number five, the center back coming forward to join the attack here. Curry just seeing it out. Oh, gets the challenge on Brown. Counter attack's going to be a four on four. Davison out wide. Get, mm, gets beyond close, but couldn't, couldn't recover in time as the ball goes out. Yeah, Brown there just caught, got caught in possession a little too long as Curry stepped in and poked it away from him, uh, causing Davison to break. First 10 minutes, I mean, defensively sound. Um, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, though. Uh, AFC Wimbledon has had a pattern of starting well and fading over time. Tommy Rowe challenged by Woodyard. Nicely done. Mm, Armani Little. Okay, under pressure. Nicely done by Little to play it square. Alhamidi tries to take it forward. Dispossessed a little too. Mm. A little too predictable there, Alhamidi. Oh, Curry miscontrols it. It's Brown. Good challenge. Okay, at first they played it over to Brown. They tried to play a long ball over to Brown, and Curry tried to control it with his thigh. It went past him, and then he came sliding in to win it back. Oh, Hamani there on the wide area. Yeah, kept it in. Back to Nightingale, though, resetting. Oh, Al Hamadi chesting it down. Go on, Al Hamadi. Ah. Poked it away, poked away. Anytime Ahamadi's holding the ball up, you're like, oh, he's going to do something here. His first touch is superb. Yeah, through ball and, yeah, I mean, it's it's good play here from AFC Wimbledon. Good off the ball movement from Ahamadi. It was a through ball intended for Ahamadi by George Marsh, but couldn't quite get there, Ahamadi. I think we, we are going with the wind in this first half, it looks to me. Wind pushed it away. I think Marsh looks comfortable so far in that right wing back position. Um, played a couple of decent balls into the 18 yard box. And um, we'll see how he continues to perform here. It'll be interesting to see how, how he slots in, right? Because um, Lee Finch from Wombles Out of Dream was saying that George Marsh is gone, pretty much. Like, I mean, understandable, because he really hasn't played all that well this season in terms of center mid. 
but you never know. He could find his find his home as a right wing back. Cross coming in for Lakin over everyone's head. Seaman recovers it on the left hand side, down the center. Hold on, I'm 10 seconds behind. I want to kind of describe what just happened there. Biggins trying to hold it up on the top of the 18-yard box, but the return pass was poor as Woodyard comes away with it. Plenty of space for Woodyard. All right, Little switches the play. Curry. Nice first time ball from Marsh Alhamidi taking someone on 1v1. Splits two defenders, Al Hamadi. Plays it square. Ah. Armani Little try to chip it over, but neither Davison nor Al Hamadi were making the run there. I thought maybe Armani Little could have tried to strike towards goal, but plenty of bodies behind it. Uh, is my scoreboard not? I, it was up, but then I closed out of it. That's my fault, guys. Sorry. 15 minutes into the first half. Yeah, I have a habit of starting my timer and then closing out the app entirely. There we go. Pierce wins the header over Miller once again. I'll try to take a look at the away support in a moment to see how many numbers we brought. Doncaster giving it away again. Ball over the top there, collected by Zanev. Thrown out quickly to Marsh. You know he likes to throw it out quickly, Zanev. Forced back though, Marsh. Good, but I mean it's a positive first 15 minutes from AFC Wimbledon. We haven't really, we haven't created that clear cut chance yet, but off the ball movement's good. I think, um, aside from maybe one or two uh, miscommunications. Oh, Davison holding it up. Return pass from Alhamadi to Davison. To his left foot. Davison! Oh! oh! Keep it from Voldy! <laughs> Mitchell! Mitchell! Oh! Josh Davison puts it away. It was an in it was a curler from his left foot. It wasn't put with the most power. Mitchell tried to go down and bring his hands like up down to here. And it went below his hands, beyond him, and into the back of the net. Ah, oh, Mitchell. Oh, that's a howler from Mitchell, man. That is an absolute howler. All right. Well, <laughs> we're on the score sheet, lads. I don't want to celebrate too early because you know, you know we have a tendency to drop points, but there it is. I mean, fair play. Uh, Josh Davison, man. Um, I mean, he held the ball up. It was kind of like um, it was a pass from Woodyard that wasn't really the cleanest. It was like up to his 
knee area. He was able to control it pretty well. And then his second touch was a, a layoff to Al Hamadi. He spins off of it immediately, re receives it back from Al Hamadi, like a half through ball. It wasn't like a full on through ball. It, he had to do something with that one, Josh Davison. Takes it to his left foot. I mean, did enough to create his own chance, even though the shot wasn't the best one. So fair play to Davison uh, for, you know, good first touch, laying it off to Al Hamadi, spinning back out, receiving it, taking it to his left foot. Just classic clinical striker, uh, striker type of play there. And uh, Josh Davison, back in form, back on the score sheet. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. It was, it was instinctual. Okay, it was my primal urge, my primal instinct to just chant Mitchell. I'm sorry. If, if I cursed us, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I was wholeheartedly not planning on doing that again. Anyway, it looks to me like already a substitution for Doncaster. Ooh, all right. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the Twitter here real quick. Ah, long ball from Zanev. Couldn't get there. Mo. Mitchell, Mitchell. <laughs> I'm just posting on the fucking Twitter. There we go. <laughs> I just posted Mitchell, Mitchell on the Twitter. Okay. Anyway. Through ball in the wide wide hand area to Hurst. Woodyard defending, yeah, the substitute. He's he's a tricky one, Hurst. Mm -hmm. Shot from Seaman blocked out for a corner. Playing short here, number 14 fakes the shot, goes to his left foot, chips it in. That's a decent ball, and nobody in the back post, though. Yeah, a lot of Doncaster players in the box, but nobody really on the back post. I'm not complaining at all. It's a decent little dink, though. Harrison Biggins, the, the former Fleetwood man. Almighty winning a header there. Surely a foul there from Nelson. Looks like we've got a bit of an injury here. Take a look at some results around the league. Mostly draws, although Stevenage are up 2-0 over Walsall. 
Uh, yeah, it's a good result. Just let Stevenage soak up some of the points. Um, it's good for us in terms of staying up, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to just immediately think, okay, let's try not to get relegated. I want to I wanna be forward-thinking, you know? Even though playoffs are most likely not going to happen for us at this point, I mean, it's still there. It's still possible. That looks really rough, man. Davison kind of going head-to-head -head with one of the players and... Oof. Bournemouth or what? Oh, Bournemouth beat Liverpool? What the fuck? Man, Liverpool are so fucking hit or miss this season, I swear. I thought, th honestly, I thought they would have, they would have started, you know, getting back into form, you know? Because they beat, they beat Man United fucking 7-0. I mean, they, they looked like the old Liverpool and all of a sudden they lose to fucking Bournemouth. <laughs> That's just Liverpool for you. Just when you thought that they were going to start making a top four push. You know how Tottenham are, bottle jobs. But I guess I guess they're learning from their uh, South London counterparts. Marsh going to clear it away. All right, throw in for the. Oh, never mind. Throw in for Doncaster. Quick throw from Doncaster. We're sitting back pretty deep here as the Lugo comes forward from the center back position. Playing it to Rowe. Yeah, we're very deep. A lot of players need the, around the 18 yard box right now. Seaman. If we're going to sit that deep, we might as well win the fucking header. It's 1 1. Seaman cuts it to his right foot. Harrison begins on the score sheet. It looked to me like it was Pierre that just let it go over there, losing his mark. Of course it's fucking Pierre, man. I, I have not been a fan of Pierre this season. Or just ever since he signed for us. I mean, that actually, you could say you could say that was Curry a little late to react to. Um, Harrison Biggins' starting position was kind of in between Curry and Pierre. But I mean, Pierre's going so... He's right, but like literally a foot behind Alex Pierce by the time the cross is in. You don't have to be that close to him. And the ball goes beyond Pierre and back post. Biggins just nods it home. Could Zanev have done a little bit better in that instance? Um, I don't think he was in position to collect the cross because the cross was a pretty good one. He kind of like halfway, he like took a step forward, like hesitated, took a step forward, hesitated, and then he tried to make himself big to try to... Um, Instead of reacting to like the header, he was already a few feet away. He tried to make himself big, but he was too close to the near post, I guess, and it was just a far post header there from Harrison Biggins. And uh, yeah, it's just 1-1. One, one. Typical. And uh, here we go once again with Seaman putting the cross in. Curry's going to clear this one away. Yeah. ASU won the better side these first 28 minutes or so, but they concede as usual once again. That was a routine delivery.
That's just typical, man. It's the Mitchell curse, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> ah, here's close now. He has some space. Hurst drives it to Zanov. Zanov collects. Some headers won by both sides. Molyneux flicking it out to Miller. Nothing there. Get up. A little bit of a tangle of legs, perhaps. Yeah, a little bit of a tangle of legs, actually. Thought maybe could have, could have been a foul had the ref seen that. But throw in for the Dons. Pierre forced to clear there. George Marsh throwing it all the way to Pierre, but the ball didn't really reach him that far. Pierre had to clear his lines. Brown with a 1-2 between him and Biggins. Brown... Nicely done, Curry. Curry's been defending pretty well, at least in terms of not allowing... Well, the 1-2 was a good one. I was going to say Curry got beat with the 1-2. I mean, Curry does what he's supposed to do. Steps out to Brown to try to put the pressure on him. Brown plays a 1-2, but then he recovers very nicely. Curry. I thought that went off Brown, though. Did that not go off Brown? Not Lee Brown, by the way. Yeah, that went off Brown. What the fuck? And still... AFC Wolden. Oh, it's a foul. Okay. How they call it a foul? Yeah. Eh. He was already going to ground before the challenge was even played. Okay. Free kick for for Doncaster now. In swinger. This one looks pretty dangerous. I think that might be. Oh, it's an out swinger. Oh, low, low to the far paw. And and guess who it is? It's Miller. Poor marking. It was just a short one. Just driven low toward the penalty spot area. It was just a really quick run. Woodyard, unfortunately, was late to react to that. Couldn't get there in time. I think if you're Woodyard there, you just... I don't know. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to say there. Woodyard loses his man. It was just a quick, short run from... Uh, from Miller. I mean, he sold it pretty well. Miller was just kind of like standing there looking one way, and then boom, just sprints immediately into that near post area. Zanov could have done better there as well, I feel. A little late to react. I think maybe he had Alex Pierce in front of him. Probably saw it late, Nick Zanov, but nonetheless, it's just another absolute fucking stinker of a goal to concede. It really is. I think Woodyard, in that situation, he was actually, looking at the replay, he was just slightly to the right side, right-hand side of Miller before Miller started that run. If you're a Woodyard, you got to be closer to the free kick taker, or anybody that's fucking marking anybody. you got to be closer to the free kick taker in case that run happens, that like short run. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot left to be desired there if you're Alex Woodyard. It's just, it's just typical, isn't it? I cannot believe I have to make another fucking Mitchell video. Like, I just don't, I, I never learn, dude. I never learn. God.
Oh! Chislet! Wow, okay, that that was something out of nothing there. It was a free kick for the Dons. It went over the head of, it looked to me like that was Rowe who tried to head it. Chislet tried to poke it with his left foot, but he's offside anyway, is he? No? Or a foul. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll be damned, man. I mean, it's just a shame, really. Well, Hamadi holding it up. He's been quiet these last 20 minutes, although really, we really haven't been in positions to bring it up to our strikers too frequently. I mean, first 15 minutes were positive. Um... Interesting. George Marsh being booed by Doncaster fans. Why is that? Curious. I don't think he's he's never played for Doncaster, has he? Has he? Try to play it forward to uh, Nightingale. Try to play it forward there. Chested down by. Or chest it up and then back down by Seaman. Ah, boy, Woodyard. Last time we beat Doncaster was the first, the first game two seasons ago, or last season. Was it last season? Yeah, it was. The very first game of the season that we got relegated, where George, uh, I'm sorry, uh, where Luke McCormick got on the score sheet. <laughs> that was one of his last contributions for us. Playing it back to Woodyard Square to Nightingale is coming forward. He can, whenever he comes forward, he can really provide on the attacking end. Oh, just bulldozing his way through Nightingale. Oof, out for throwing though. I was gonna say if he could have put in the cross there, he went through two people. Marsh is not happy. Oh, hold on. I'm 10 seconds behind, but something's about to happen. Keep, keep that in mind. Throw in. 
Miller, it goes over his head. Molyneux flicks it on to Hurst. Sixes and sevens at the back, but Pierre comes in with the challenge. Way, okay, poor touch from Seaman as Marsh cleared it. And it's going to be thrown for us, unnecessarily conceded. It's going to be Hurst now taking it forward to Seaman. Yeah, Doncaster knocking around pretty well here. Good one two touch football. Curry closing it down alongside Little. Yep. Almonte Little was able to close the space there. Still in possession, Doncaster. Alhamidi gets the ball poked away by Close. Sorry, I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm fucking tired. Little. Oof. High press by Molyneux. Indeed, Mark. Indeed. It's just like clockwork, isn't it? That first one, it was pretty much just us losing our mark in the back post. Uh, Jack Curry, I think it was technically his man, although it was in between. The, the run by Biggins was made in between Curry and Pierre, but I, I would say Pierre was kind of at fault for that one. He was too close. He was like a foot away from Alex Pierce. Just like, why do you need to challenge that? Like, why do you need to be in that position? Pierce is there. Just focus on the back post run. Uh, and then the second one, it was, you know, just Woodyard losing his mark as uh, Smith just made a really quick run to the near post. Zanna could have done better on that second goal, in my opinion. Although I think, I, I, I think that he saw it late, you know. Uh, Pierce probably was in front of him. In, in his line of sight for a moment there. I mean, maybe could have done better on the first one, too. Either co fully commit to the punch or stay in your line. He kind of like half went, half went, and had her back post. So maybe on both instances, Zanuck could have done a bit better. But, yeah, it is what it is.
It's Rowe now. Dropping deep is Miller. Alex Pierce keeping him in his back pocket for the most part. Once again, challenges. Oh, square ball here, number 33, it deflects. That's a nasty deflection out for a corner. It was um, Hurst taking it towards the final third, playing it out wide to Biggins on the left. Biggins just, and, and Woodyard there, not even knowing where he was. Initially, it was Woodyard coming forward to try the challenge. Gets back. Yeah, the nasty deflection from Pierre. Oh, back post. Out for a goal kick, yeah. Yeah, corner kick was headed wide by Oluwu. Oh, man. I can't wait to just fucking sleep again. <laughs> Oh, Davison. Oh, go on, Davison. Left-footed. He committed the foul, though. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I just saw a fucking Jose Mourinho gif after our 2-1 tweet. I prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak. <laughs> a fucking deformed, a deformed Chuck Liddell. <laughs> oh my god. I'm looking at the tweets right now. Fucking hilarious. What is what is their issue with George Marsh? I'm guessing he used to play for them. Mitchell's gonna collect. No? Never played for Doncaster. That's what I figured. Uh, I gotta put some pressure on, man. Come on. Seaman there. Just plenty of space to put the cross in. Headed away by Pierre. Not fully away. Back to Seaman. Nicely done, Nightingale, good clearance. How for throwing? Fucking A.
John's knocking around here. Pierre lumps it forward to nobody in particular, I guess. What's got to change, man? I mean, well, the fucking defensive lapses need to stop. That's for one. Uh, but let's see, what what kind of changes can we make? I mean, we're pretty shallow. Um, McAteer? I think McAteer is my first choice here to come on. Um, I mean, Chislet... Mm, Chislet's all right. I mean, hasn't really seen too much of the ball yet. A lot of the times we would play it deep with, uh, we would hold the ball up with Davison, they would lay it off to Ahamadi, George Marsh, Jack Curry was put in the play a lot. We never really played it to the center that much to Chiz. Um, so if we're going to stick to the wide areas, maybe you could bring Pearson on. Um, but, I mean, we're playing a 3-5-2, so if you're going to bring on Pearson, you're going to have to shift formation. Um, so I guess maybe that's not the right option. McAteer for Chislet maybe as a like-for-like. -like. After 70 or so. Um, otherwise, we'd have to change formation. I don't really see any other way around that. Um, my voice has been cracking. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just gonna, just for now. I don't really have much else to say. We'd have to change, for, change formation if we were to bring Pearson on. Um, maybe Pearson for Marsh and we can switch to like a... Uh, four in the back with um oh we'd have to take off one of our center backs if that's the case um if we do decide to switch to a four i'd say take off pierce have uh, i'm sorry pierre have pierce and nightingale play alongside one another curry left back marsh right back um i would like to say that mcateer would be coming on first if we're going to change the, if we're going to stick to this formation um i mean first 15 minutes were positive i don't think you know the 3-5-2 is terrible in terms of ch chance creation it's just defensively we haven't been there i mean uh i mean neither of our two goals that we conceded i don't think we should blame the formation on that because the first goal was just losing our mark curry maybe a little too high i guess i don't know and then uh the second goal was just a set piece losing our mark on the set piece um, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now.
I got lucky, you're my shooting star, I'm warm and fuzzy, wherever you are, once in a lifetime you told me, you're gonna find the one.
mentioning in uh, commentary before half time maybe Wimbledon were going to change something up and uh, indeed they have at half time Will Nightingale has come off Wimbledon and reverted to a back four okay <laughs> well done golf clap Johnny Jackson changed the formation four in the back now Will Nightingale coming off though I would have rather have seen Pierre but okay alright four in the back now Golf clap for Johnny Jackson. <sighs> Let's just take a look to see how much of an impact that will make. Got some audio troubles as usual. <clears throat> All right, Davison receiving it off a throw in. Okay, poked it out for a throw.
Oh, flick on by Al Hamadi. Headed away, not fully away. Top of the box, little. Foul before that. I was gonna say our money little lining up for this. You know he he's gonna try to do it. He's gonna try to fucking blast it. There's a high boot though from Al Hamadi before that. Pierre able to shepherd out a through ball attempt there. Long for Marsh. Al Hamadi wins that. Davison back to Al Hamadi. Nice little flick. McAteer. Oh, 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 Mitchell spilled it. Oh. He, he was trying to parry it away, and the, the rebound was a very poor... Oh, that looks bad. He tried to parry it away. I'm, I, Mitchell's hurt, though, anyway. He tried to parry it away. Didn't really parry it that far. And then he tries to scramble up and fucking chisel it. Kind of close to the goal line. Can't really blame him, but he tried to steer it back towards goal and just completely whiffed it. He tried to hit it towards goal, and it just like rolled back into Mitchell's Mitchell's arms. But Mitchell's on the ground, holding his shoulder. Looks to me like he's in very he's in pain, man. That that looks. I don't know what happened. It didn't look like there was much on that, but I think maybe he dislocated his shoulder. How? It looked like a routine. Routine save, even though he didn't really parry it that well. Oh, okay, I see it. He went down, and he, like, instead of, like, you know, landing on the outside of his wrist, he, like, kind of fell right onto his arm. Yeah, I think he probably dislocated his shoulder. That's part of the, that's actually probably part of the reason why he couldn't get up right away. It looked like he was like scrambling and slipping on the ground. He probably would have collected his own rebound had he not dislocated. He couldn't get up because his shoulder was in so much pain. Are we going to be seeing a substitution of keepers here? Well, it looks like he's back up. Probably just pop the shoulder back in place if it was dislocated. That looks painful, man. Pierre gets in the challenge there on Brown. Counterattacking opportunity. Chisel it down the middle to McAteer. McAteer is going to play it forward. Or tries to at least. Over the top, but not high enough. It was headed away. Armani Little picks up possession. Plays it square to Chisel. Chisel again has plenty of space here, uh, to work with here. 
Yep, lays it off. They still got numbers back. Doncaster, we play it to Curry. Oh, nice touch by McAteer. Gets past his man. Back to Curry, back to McAteer. Ah. Good shape from Doncaster, though, forcing us all the way back. Ah, come on. Poor Clarence Siemens taking it forward now. Could we have done more with that attack? I think McAteer maybe could have put it into the box there after receiving it from Curry. But his first touch kind of let him down, so he had to try to force it back to his left. But then after he received it again from Curry, his first instinct was to look backward. And he went backward as a result. Instead of taking a look in the box, maybe taking a touch towards the box, er, towards the center and then crossing it. Just not forward thinking in that moment was McAteer. Doncaster knocking around. Headed away by Pierce. Don's in possession now. Zanev with a somewhat meh clearance, but Davison collects it. Uh, Oluwu comes forward and dispossesses. His first he touch with his chest is a little heavy. Oluwu picks it up. Davison holding it up again. This time successful. Brings Chiseled in. Hey! He's able to shrug off Biggins and Close. Nicely done, Woodyard to Marsh. Good ball, Ahamadi holding it up. Go on, Ahamadi. Ah. Anytime Ahamadi is on the holdup, you know he's going to create something. It was, a, it was a cross from Marsh. Not the best one, but Ahamadi was able to actually react quickly to that near post cross. Gets there first ahead of Close. Holding it up ahead of close, takes a heavy touch down the six-yard box and drives it towards goal. And uh, Mitchell is able to parry. That was not a good corner from Armani Little. Mitchell and Davison with a bit of a tussle. Dude, I cannot say enough good things about... Ali Al Hamadi, very, very strong on the holdup, but also very good first touch. Good accelerate. His he's his pace is deceiving. Like he's not like super fast in terms of top speed, but he's got really good acceleration. It's like ninety nine acceleration on FIFA. It's crazy. Bringing it down. Armani Little down the wing. He's going down the wing here? Okay. Throw in. Starting to look, I mean, positive start to the second half. McAteer receives it. Back to Curry. Good idea from Woodyard to switch the play. Not too many numbers on that other side. Yep. Good play here from the Dons. McAteer. Woodyard, take a hit. No. Oh. Not a good finish there from McAteer outside the 18-yard box. Tries to drive it with pace, but way over the bars as a weak foot. It's good play, though, from the Dons. I mean, they knocked it around pretty well. It was McAteer receiving on the wide area and then playing it in between two defenders to play it to Little. Little to Woodyard. Woodyard to Curry on the other side. I think maybe Woodyard could have been a bit more decisive with the shot, but he played it to Curry. Curry drove the cross, poked away. McAteer with the shot, not a good one. But we're knocking around pretty well. We're, we're very 
we're not very consistent across all 90 minutes, but every once in a while we can have good spells here. But now they play forward to Miller. Pierre recovers it eventually, does well. All right. Oh, wow. Chisholm goes down a little easy there. Brown and Close are getting into the referee's face. And then Close gets into Chislett's face. Wow. Very heated there is Close. Well, I guess they were former teammates. I mean, it wasn't a dive. Like, it was a little clip of the foot, and Chislett felt it. He went down. challenge there by Pierce onto Miller. Miller has done virtually nothing um, ahead of Pierce at least. Rowe plays it through to Hurst. Forced back by. Got numbers back, AFC Wimbledon. Miller holding it up. Playing it all the way back to the center back. We need to play Al Hamidi more. There he is. Ah, trusted. Trusted to take it down the. Oh, okay, Al Hamidi getting very physical there with Seaman. Yeah, he tried to take a, a couple of touches ahead of Seaman to try to beat him for pace, but nothing doing there. Yeah, Al Hamidi just getting a little too physical there with Seaman. Probably just getting frustrated there. Way.
be uh, a real game changer for us here if we can get the right delivery to it. Mm, goodness me, and the play stops as uh, Close tries to clear the ball forward from inside the centre circle and steers the ball straight into the face of Alex Woodyard, who uh, certainly felt the effects of that. Oof. Uh, let's see, League 2, League 2, a lot of, a lot of deadlocks have been broken, that's for sure. Uh, Hartlepool and Crawley both winning their respective matches, which is, I guess, good for us if we were to stay up, or to try to stay up. I mean, what am I saying, to try to contend for the top seven spots, but never mind, most of the teams that are losing are in the mid-table. What am I, I don't know what I was saying there. Relegation teams winning helps us stay up. I don't know. I don't know why I was saying that. I mean, it would be good for us to move up the spots in mid-table, but most of the teams in the top six are winning their games too, so... Eh, worst case scenario for us, I guess. Um, well, McAteer, I, I did say McAteer for Chislet, but McAteer already came on, and I, we switched to a four, so we brought off, uh, it was pretty much Nightingale for McAteer. Um, so now, now what do we do? Um, hold on one second, let me pay attention here. Long throw, Alhamidi late flanking it, back to Davison, throw in, quick throw from George Marsh, no, never mind. I mean, Pearson, really. We were shallow, but I mean, Pearson's the next option. Who do we bring him on for, though? That's the thing. All right, corner kick for the Dons. Let's go. Can we take advantage? Armani Little, his last delivery was poor. Let's see if he can rectify. Near post headed away. It wasn't a terrible delivery, though. Ah, ah Molyneux, here comes a counterattack. Hurst tries to play through to Molyneux, nothing there. Oh, Zanif throws it out straight to Hurst. Woodyard slides in. Counterattack here, come on. Doncaster slow to get back, maybe. Who would he play that to, Davison or Alhamadi? It was in between both. McAteer recovers, though. Alhamadi on the right-hand side. He's going to create something for sure. Laid off, yes! McAteer! Oh. Back in. Uh, he tried to play a, a, a cross low down the six-yard box, but it was poked away. Yeah, good idea there from McAteer. Fake the shot and play it low to Davison, maybe, on the top of the six, but it's cleared away by Nelson. Yeah, McAteer with a couple of kind of errant passes so far ever since coming on. But that time, you know, fake the shot, low cross, good idea. Also, he played in, you know, he, he played a pretty good splitting ball down in between two defenders earlier that led to a decent chance for the Dons. Miller. It's going to be a corner for Doncaster. In regards to Johnny Jackson, uh, I don't. I know I'm gonna get stick for this because I was, I was a part of the Robbo in train when Robbo was uh, part of the Dons. I don't think it's quite time to sack Johnson yet, but it's getting there. It's getting pretty close. That being said, I think it's more so defensive lapses um, that have been causing the Dons as you know. Um, Headed away by Curry. 
it's been defensive lapses, really. I mean, yeah, Johnny Jackson's had some inconsistencies in regards to formations and or ta not formations, but tactics rather. And he brings on substitutions late a lot of the time, leaves it late, or his substitutions are kind of meh. Um, I wouldn't put it all on him though. I, I feel like our mentality as a team, or maybe that's that's up to Jackson to instill that sort of um, that finishing mentality, you know? Because we have not been able to finish games properly ever since you know every time we go up and we concede. Maybe it is part partly on the manager to really instill that confidence in us. Um, so I guess you know you could you could blame him in two two factors: one, the mentality, and two, the tactics. I still don't think it's quite time to sack him yet, but he's close. He's close. Pierre's down. I wouldn't go as far as to say we're playing terribly. I think we've been on the front foot for good portions of this half. Every now and again you see Doncaster on the counter whenever we whenever, you know, we give it away. We've given it away a couple of times, but also we've we played it pr knocked it around pretty well in other instances and create some half chances. Um We haven't really had too many shots on target, though. McAteer skied one uh, after a good run of play. Um, what else? Alhamidi drove it. I mean, Alhamidi had a shot on target, drove it near hard with pace near post. There was a shot. There was an instance where uh, Mitchell. The keeper parried it. It was a shot from us that he had to parry. It wasn't the best parry in the world. It looked like he dislocated his shoulder, but Chislett couldn't come away with it, that rebound. Chislett missed such a good opportunity in, like, what, four games ago, five games ago? And then we ended up conceding a second. Could have been 2-1 for us, but it was 2-1 for the other side. I think it was the game against... Who was it that we lost against? Missed a golden opportunity, Chislett, I remember. Was it Harrogate? I don't quite remember. Hartlepool, maybe. Corner kick for Doncaster. Zanif collects. He's going to throw it out, probably. There it is. Al Hamadi. Ah. Still in possession, but let the ball roll behind him. He overran the ball, rather. Uh, wayward clearance from Pierre. Pierre looks to me like, yeah. Gunter's coming on, I think. We don't have any other defending options. Thank goodness we're playing a 4-4-2. But it looks like Gunter's going to be playing. Yeah. Yeah, Guns is going to be playing CB. McAteer out wide, draws the foul. Yeah. Yeah, it was Woodyard on the corner flag of all people. McAteer receives it, takes a touch towards the center. Very smartly leaves his leg out. Very cheeky there from McAteer. Leaves his leg out, draws the foul. Leaves his leg out in order to, the, to draw the contact. I'm a little bit behind, stopping the time. Ethan Chislett. Ethan Chislett. He's going to try to whip this one in. Here we go. Chizza takes. That's a good ball. 
Nobody there though. Ahamani, after a flick on from 14. Cross deflected. Woodyard. Headed straight up, not fully away. Davison trying to chase. Molyneux clears. Oh, Chislett, top of the 18 yard box. What can he do? Takes it to his right. He can whip it. Headed away there on the six yard box. That looked like it was going to go far post. I mean, we're, we're knocking on the door here, slowly but surely. I just wish that we didn't have to play from behind, like we always do. We, we score, and then we concede more. Fifteen minutes to go here, man. I think we need to bring on Pearson. Well, not right away, because we... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Almani Little tries to... Okay, I'm ten seconds behind. I want to describe that. So Little's in possession. Tries to thread it through to McAteer down the center, but... Close was able to poke it. Biggins back post, not able to get there as Jack Curry recovers nicely. Yeah, I mean, decent spell of possession, decent spell overall from AFC Wimbledon within the last, I'd say, 10 minutes or so. But now Doncaster is starting to get back on the front foot. Short corner. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That would have been an absolute worldie. It was a cross coming in, number seven. Headed away, nicely done by uh, Al Hamadi. But not fully away. Top of the 18-yard box, maybe a little bit closer to the penalty spot. The center back of all players, Oluwu, with a fucking bicycle kick. And it's a couple yards wide of the frame. Corner kick, though. I think Zanif tipped it away. It looked like it was going out anyway, but Zainab tipped it just to play it safe. Sup, Kota? Wait, how, wait, how early is your work? Usually you go in at like 11, 11.30. Oh, Biggins. Oh, shit. Fakes the shot, rolls it down. What the fuck was that? That was such a weird play. It was a short corner. They played it over to uh, Biggins. And then Biggins kind of rolled it. It looked like he was about to shoot, but then he rolled it on the hold up there was Seaman. But then Chisla tries to slide in and clear it, but then gets it shanks it and goes out for a corner. That was kind of a weird play there. Come on, I'm gonna pay close attention to our defenders, see if we can actually fucking maintain our marks. I wouldn't be surprised if one of us loses this is our mark. Another short corner here. Back to Biggins. Oh. Chislet. I see done Chis. Oh, 
Fuck, hold on. Get a fart. Get a fart. Uh, that felt good. That felt good. That felt good. And are you okay? Oof. Gotcha. Well, you do like to go to work early sometimes, though. They have some night. I mean, it's a, it's a mall. It's nice to just walk around a little bit. Yeah, Pierce is defending pretty well so far this game. Oh, shit. Marsh getting beat. McAteer deflects it. I gotta say, Pierce has been one of our bright spots this game. He's defended solidly, not letting Miller getting past him. Um... Nightingale before coming off, and Pierre, though, a little bit left to be desired. Marsh committing the foul, kind of stupidly there. I actually didn't really step in that much. It was Seaman trying to play, try to play a 1-2, and Seaman kind of ran into Marsh. Oh, nice clip. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't wait. I didn't know you could make YouTube clips. What the fuck? Oh, no. It's just a link. Okay. It's not a separate clip. It's just. Oh, okay. I see it. I didn't know you could do that, though. Never mind. What the fuck? I follow. Okay. In swinging free kick. That's a decent one. Zanaklex, though. And he throws it out. That's a pretty long throw. Go on, Chiz. Chiz forced back, though. We'll play, it, play it down the center. Come on, McAteer. Woodyard has some space. Take it forward, Woody. Tries to play McAteer square, but it deflects. Counterattack now. Woodyard had space, just take the shot, man. Yeah. Guns are coming on. Anyway. Chiz. Oh, back to Chiz. Chiz at the top of the 18 yard box. Can he lay it off? Or he's going to take the shot on. Fuck. Chiz lit right to the keeper, man. Chiz lit, unfortunately, has not finished very strongly. I mean, it's, it's very good work for him to create his chance there. Takes it to his right foot. Straight at Mitchell, though. Could have done better earlier, too, when Mitchell parried it, not fully away, and he just whiffed the rebound completely. Doncaster been sitting back a little bit.
again with the Dons have lost possession once more, but despite the best efforts of Chislett, it will be Biggins who comes away with the ball. It's Sam Pearson now who's imminent for the Dons. Meantime, it's Biggins. Sam Pearson imminent? Hold on. They play it. Oh, okay. Seaman there on the left hand side takes it down the center. Yeah, foul committed by Davis, and he tracked all the way back. Yeah, it's going to be a free kick here. I'm trying to sign in to fuck it. Hold on one second. Free kick swung in, not very well though, near post, easy. Mm. Who's on that? Hurst, way over the bar, thankfully. Davison wins the flick. Chislet dispossessed, though. Fuck. Why does Johnny Jackson leave the substitution so late? Every time, man. Pearson's going to be coming on with like four minutes to go. It's just typical. It's going to be a corner kick as a long ball was poked away by Pierce. So three minutes to go here, and Pearson coming on. I really wish he came on a little earlier, but it is what it is. McAteer doesn't has not really worked his way into this game at all. Text the code. 
three X T L three three. Pearson, okay, how many flicks it on? Head it away. All right, Pearson on the left here. Almadi Little sprinting for that overlapping run. Pearson plays it down the middle though, just ahead of Alhamadi. Just ahead of Alhamadi. Had he had he gotten there, maybe he could have set himself up for a shot. Hold on, I'm, I'm 20 seconds behind. I had to take care of something. I'm sorry. It was a flick on by El Hamadi. Oof. Psycho Jane also just came on, by the way. Come on, boys. I mean, rescuing a point, I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world if we don't rescue that point, but we'll see. Headers everywhere, everywhere you look, cleared away. Yeah, game's about, the, the game looks to me like it's, it's starting to fade away from us. Decent cross. Oh. Alison? What's up? I didn't know you had a YouTube account. What's up? I'm going to be uploading that Brent Rivera reaction video in a couple hours. Maybe like actually an hour. Not on this channel though. Looks to me like Brown's down. Yeah, they're just taking their time, man. Yeah, 
Gunter steps forward. Pierce wins the header. Nobody there, man. Diagonal pass. How many flicks it on? Left side. Chislet takes it to his right. Oh, decent shot by Little. Poked back. Pearson. Oh man. Pearson just fucking skied that one. It was a long shot from Armani Little. It looked like it was going on target. Deflected straight up in the air. Flicked back on by McAteer towards the top of the six yard box. And. Just a little too high for Pierce, and he wasn't able to steer towards goal. Seaman put the pressure on him, so he wasn't able to guide it towards goal. Neymar's injured right now, I think. Yeah. She probably only knows a few words from Brazilian songs. I still chupego, maybe no. That's not safe for work song. Yeah, lads, I mean... Psycho Janet trying to poke it. Um, well, as you can tell by the scoreline, more defensive lapses. Did we go... Okay. Hold on one second. We still have a chance. Hold on. Hold your horses. Psycho Janet looks to me like he's... It was a, a rough challenge. I mean, it was studs up. It was a clearance attempt. I mean, it, it wasn't intentional, but... Yeah, it's going to be one more opportunity for the Dons. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding? It was headed away. Giannis fucking drives it towards goal on the rebound, and Chisla was on the near post, and Chisla heads it over the bar on the near post. <laughs> uh, no, he chests it over, actually. Ethan Chislett, leave it to Chislett to miss a fucking amazing opportunity. It was punched away actually by Mitchell. I, I like re I uh, fast forwarded again and it, it just kind of popped up suddenly. Psycho Janet with a fucking belter there, and ch it looked to me like the ball was probably gonna either hit the post or go out. And Chislett was right there in the near post. He tries to chest it. He was like two yards away and he chests it over the bar, dude. It was too low for him to like dive down because it was a hard, it was a shot put with plenty of pace. He wasn't, didn't, didn't have time to really redirect it. He tried to chest it. Just, that's just so disappointing, man. Oh my God. That's as close as you, that's literally as close as you can get. To scoring that's oh man I mean even if we did score that we would have come away with a point only Hilsey what happened today bottle once again um, the first goal okay Let, let's start for, let's start with our goal right we played well in the first 15 minutes of the first half first 20 minutes of the second half but 
we started to fade in both of those respective halves. And then in this, we, we started to come back in the last 10 minutes of this half. Um, but anyway, let me just start off from chronological order. So, Davison, um, it was really good work from Davison on that first goal. I mean, he was on, he had a good first touch from kind of a, a hard pass from Woodyard about shin height. Ch uh, you know, good first touch to bring it down, lays it off to Alhamadi, immediately spins out to receive the return ball, the through ball from Alhamadi, takes it to his left foot, curls it far post. It wasn't the best shot in the world, but Mitchell, just absolute howler, goes down for it, and goes through his, under his hands rather. Um, and then guess what, guys? For those of you that have been following me for a while, you'll know what I mean. Mitchell! Mitchell, I, I just couldn't resist. I could not resist. I just said it because, I mean, he, he had a howler. I just said, ah, ha, 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 Mitchell, Mitchell. Guess what? We conceded two goals in 20 minutes. It's the Mitchell curse, guys. The Mitchell curse is back. Um, I even tweeted it. I even tweeted Mitchell, Mitchell on the fucking AFC woman. And, no. I, I should know better than that. We conceded two goals. Um... The two goals that we did concede, though. The first goal, it was just a routine cross. It was a routine cross, in-swinger, back post. Jack Curry looked like he was a little too far ahead of the play. Obviously, he's playing as a, a wing back, so naturally he's going to be a little higher. Couldn't quite come back. Uh, but I would say it's more so on Pierre for that one. I mean, Biggins was in between Pierre and Curry. And Pierre was just so central on that play. He was, like, right behind. He was, like, breathing down. Uh, Alex Pierce's neck when that cross came in. Like, you don't have to be that close. It went over Pierre. He was forced to just watch it go over his head, and Biggins just steered at far post. Could Zenev have done better? Potentially. I think Zenev, like, you know, he took a step out, hesitated, took another step out, hesitated, and then he tried to jump, make himself big, but his positioning maybe was a little bit too close to the near post. Back post, easy. Um, second goal, it was just another poor defensive laps uh, Miller steering that one I'm trying to remember I know it was a poor defensive laps I'm trying to remember exactly what happened in that instant um, hold on I'll pull it up yeah it was it was a free kick uh, conceded by Jack Curry um, kind of came slight. He, Jack Curry was hit or miss in this game. I mean, he he got beat a couple times for through balls. He recovered on some of those instances, but in that time, he slide he made a sliding challenge, committed the foul, couldn't quite get to the ball, and then Alex Woodyard losing his mark. Um, I think Woodyard could have. He was on the right side. He was on the far side. Well, near side on the camera, but far side from the free kick taker on his mark and uh miller was just able to just peel off of him quickly Re uh, woodyard wasn't able to recover and just steered at far post zanov could have done a little bit better there but i think his line of sight was impeded he looked to me like he, he went down to his right pretty late I, th I think maybe he just didn't see it right away and just saw it late but maybe zanov could have done better there i'm going to take another very very close look at this Mm, no, I don't think he saw it late. Zanin was shuffling a little bit to his near post and just reacted a little late. Understandably frustrated. He immediately got up and went like this, like, what the fuck? Yeah, understandably so. Woodyard just lost his mark. But yeah, I think Zanin could have done a little bit better getting down to his low right-hand side to try to save that one. Uh, but it, it's just, these last few games, it's been... The marking, the losing, losing the marks. Zanev really not leaving. A, I'm, I'm sorry, Zanev leaving a little bit to be desired. It's just typical AFC Wimbledon bottle job. Um, this has to stop. I mean, it, it's just not even funny anymore. Like I've already lost hope. I've already. I mean, I shouldn't lose hope, but I've already kind of accepted the fact that we're most likely not going to make the playoffs. Um, it's rough, but it is what it is. Um, I, I don't think that, I don't think that we're a relegation team, but that just, I mean, four losses in a row, that is relegation form. 
and it's worrisome. Also, waiting until the 86th minute to bring on Sam Pearson. Johnny Jackson, what the fuck are you doing? It's just typical. Like, why would you wait that long? And also Janet, too. Janet and Pearson coming on 86th and 87th minute, respectively. What the fuck are you doing, Johnny Jackson? Why are you leaving it that late? I mean, come on. Fair play to him in terms of changing it from a three in the back to a four in the back. I thought that was a positive change. Um, but just the substitutions, the tactics, very... Oh, I just realized my timer was still going. Uh, it, I don't know. I'm not going to say Johnny Jackson out yet, but I do understand why some people would want him out. Um... We're in relegation form, but we're not that close to the relegation zone yet. Um, we are, well, seven points out. Gillingham won their respective game to get out of the relegation zone. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's starting to get really worrisome. That's all I have to say about that. So, uh, Individual performances, let's go down the list. Hold on. Zanev, five and a half to six. I'd say six. No, five and a half. Pierre, five and a half. Pierce, nine. Thought he was solid. Kept Miller at bay, won some headers. Nightingale, before he came off, maybe a seven. I thought he, you know, provided a little bit on the attacking end. Uh, he was good defensively, you know, cut out a few, a few uh, like, any time they try to play it through to the striker on the holdup, he would come in and, and poke it away or clear it away, won some headers. Fairly strong in the air. Curry was a six. Uh, I thought a couple times he lost out on that wide area to Brown uh, in terms of the through balls. Little was, I'd say, a seven and a half. He was decent, you know, played a couple balls forward. Woodyard, I think Woodyard is kind of started to trend down over these last five or six games or so. I mean, um, you know, positioning-wise, got caught a little bit. Um, I'd say six. Marsh was... He was decent, I'd say. Seven to 7.5. Chislet was a... Man, this was a very volatile game for Chislet. There were moments where he, he picked up the ball, looked positive, brought it to the final third... A couple times where he took it to his right foot and took a shot. He, he had like three or four shots on target. You know, very positive forward thinking. But missed a couple of decent chances. That that chance at the end of the game was golden. But also, Chislet, you know, there was one moment where he just shot it straight at um, the keeper. And uh, I'd say Chislet was a six and a half. Uh, Davison was an 8.5, even though he got the goal. I think it was quiet in that second half. Al Hamadi was an 8.5, uh, maybe 8. I'd say 8. Got dispossessed a few times while trying to take it forward, but also a couple times created ch uh, chances for himself. Drove a very hard shot near post that forced a save out of uh, Mitchell in that second half and created a couple of half chances. Gunter, I don't know, 7. Uh... McAteer was six and a half. Um, I thought maybe could have been a little bit better on the ball. A um, couple of maybe errant passes. Um, yeah. But, I mean, McAteer, most other games he would be like a 7.5 to 8. Uh, Janet only came on for like three minutes. I mean, he did have a, I don't know. Pearson only came on for like three minutes, so I don't really have ratings for them. Um, I mean, all in all, it's just another bottle job, really. I mean, it's like clockwork. <laughs> it's pathetic. Um, I mean, offensively, we created a, a few pretty good chances. I just think it's defensively now we really, really need to step up. I mean, we have scored in our last five games. I don't think chance creation is that much of an issue anymore, especially with the Iraqi legend Al Hamadi. He has been fucking fantastic. And that two up top, I think, is going to be something that we need to maintain. I mean, that two up top is golden. Davison is getting support, and I think he's in good form now. He's in better form now than in the previous games against the likes of 
uh, Gillingham, Hartlepool, Northampton, Carlisle. Uh, Al-Hamadi is in fantastic form. I think we need to keep that two up top. 